Going live. I think we are live, Liza. Now we are live, yeah, definitely. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Hello, everyone. Just Welcome to one more first Fortnite Live. Get your tea, your water, or anything. Join us. I have oh, that's fine. So, let me present our amazing communications and fundraising staff member, Claude Swartz. How are you, Claude? I'm really good. I'm delighted to be here. Delighted to be talking to the amazing Maiza as well. Uh, who does this amazing interviewer on live. So thank you so much for having me on. <laughs> thank you. So for the people that don't know you yet, just for starting getting people in the live right now, tell us a bit about you, like what you do, who you are. Yes, I can indeed. Um, so I'm delighted to be the communications and fundraising officer for First Fortnight. But also, as well as that, I am a life coach and a vocal confidence coach. I so, need that, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's my week. But uh, and now I'm just, it's such a great bonus to what I do is to be working with and advocating for um, First Fortnight. So that's a kind of a little circle about who I am. And um, you're welcome to my sitting room. <laughs> That's amazing. I love the painting. Yes, thank you. So for you, what means to be part of a mental health festival, especially now that we are living this weird lockdown days? Oh, yeah, I suppose it's, it means, I suppose, to me, so many things as, I suppose, an artist myself and also like with what has happened for so many people throughout COVID who have not been able to perform, who've not been able to sing, who've not been able to get themselves out there artistically or creatively, and to be working within an organization who is going to advocate and put that out there, I suppose, uh, it's, I'm just so happy to be part of this and to support that and get that voice out there. And also secondly, as in mental health and well-being in people who have been challenged by that more than ever in throughout COVID, for us to be able to shout out and talk about that and really bring that to the table is something that I'm so excited and also really feel proud to be part of and I'm delighted to be here to be able to do that and share that message and get people talking about it. So yeah. That's, that's amazing that's to me yeah that's great so don't know if i will put in an uncomfortable position here but i saw some mysterious posts in the first fortnight social media this week like quite like blur i didn't know what's happening we have something coming up this week something uh, special we might we might indeed oh okay uh, and you you I, I can see that you can't say to us, but can you like give us some tips, like some words that can describe that and the people that are watching right now try to guess in the comments? Yes, okay, well, let me see. Uh, so we do have something coming up this week, okay. a big surprise, and it is, um, it's going to be, um, it's gonna flip 2020 off its side and flip us into 2021 in a really positive, bright, connected, creative, um, and there's possible some rainbows that will happen like everywhere. Wow. So um, yeah, it's, and it'll bring a lot of people together, connected from parts all over nationally, um, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> mm. Okay, so guys, try to guess in the comments. You will have as the prize a virtual hug. 
if you get it right. <laughs> yes. Okay, that, that's our prize for tonight. <laughs> Amazing. So just moving on, for the people that are watching us right now and they want to get involved, want to support for, First Fortnite, how they can get involved, like what they can do to support us, like especially in these times that we really need that support. Yeah, absolutely. And I suppose for anybody who, if any of my friends who are watching or people or my family or cousins or whoever is watching. <laughs> I'm seeing here Megan and Kian and hello guys. Hello. <laughs> uh, who is, who've never heard of First Fortnite, I suppose, just to, to explain a little bit about First Fortnite. So um, it utilizes arts and culture to challenge mental health stigma while supporting some of the most vulnerable in Ireland society using creative therapies. And it is said that between one and four people will suffer from a mental health challenge or a difficulty. So more than ever, I suppose, in these times of where we're at right now, the message of what First Fortnite is doing is crucial. So if you are watching this and what as communications number one, if you can look at all our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, or LinkedIn, if you're any of those and you see our posts, share them, tell them, tell people about them, like them, or all the things that are coming up, blast it out there. That is amazing. That that to us is amazing. Just letting letting people hear of our message. And then I suppose on a fundraising aspect is if you feel called to what we're talking about this evening that you that you'd like to uh, organize something between your friends or whether it's online or you also feel that you might like to donate. I know that we will be sharing the donate button in the chat in a little while if you feel called um, to to donate would be amazing so liking and sharing and also volunteering Definitely. First is run on these i like i'm working with this amazing communications team guys who are all hopefully on the chats at the moment who are brilliant and who are doing amazing work in their free time to volunteer and support for sport that it's so grassroots and that's what it's founded on and so if you feel called to volunteer as well um, we would love that. Yeah, definitely. I, I can say for personal pe uh, personal experience that it's a family. The first yeah. part night is a huge family that we have that's yes. amazing to be part of. So I, I couldn't agree more with Claude. So just to finish up, Claude, we are getting our time right now. Can you give us a recommendation of a self-care in this lockdown? Like what do you do to feel good? <laughs> um so well i could say oh, while i say there's a few things i was going to say um the first one and I, Stephen was doing this talking about this uh last week was that he was jumping in the sea i'm oh, definitely gosh. actually if you like swimming and you are a swimmer <laughs> and you know how to swim please guys <laughs> jump into the sea um, I cannot advocate for that more. Um, if my parents are watching now, they'll be uh, they'll be like, yes, we do that too. Um, and so uh, then um, we, uh, the other thing is uh, like, I suppose, uh, like this is crazy, but I have, I'm, I, I love dancing and I okay. dance as much as possible. Uh, I am dancing on rooftops, dancing somewhere outside or dancing if you can. I always find that amazing. That would be one of my tips. Um, so yeah, and just as mainly, and, and I suppose just sharing and anybody's watching, I'm so delighted to be part of First Fortnite and the message they're doing for personally who have also been on the journey of challenged with stress um, when I was in my twenties and anxiety for different bouts in my life. And so to be here now and supporting that message and getting that out there, I'm delighted to be part of this. So thank you. That's amazing, Claudia. Thank you so much. Our time is almost up and I want to thank you and I want to ask you guys, please to leave your like here, post in, in our comments. Uh, tell us what you want to see, who you want to see, if you want other different contents. We are glad to have your input on that. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice Wednesday. So, Claudia, let's just give a bye to the guys. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Thank you.
Bye. Okay. Oh, and then start recording. Great.